I wanted to do a, a demonstration of my leather splitter. Uh, Tandy sells it as a, what do they sell it as? The high-tech leather splitter. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what exactly is high-tech about it. It doesn't seem very high-tech, but anyways, it is pretty cool. I use it primarily when I'm making belts. Um, it's really helpful to thin down cartridge loops um, when I've got like a, a double shoulder or a, a, a side and I, you know, sliced out a piece of leather or a strip with my strap cutter here, which I might do a video on that on later. But then you got to thin it down because I'm usually working with 10 ounce, 10 ounce leather and that doesn't make very good cartridge loops. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put it through this um, splitter. So, anyways, it's got a four inch capacity. Although I would not recommend actually trying to put something four inches wide in there, it gets pretty tough. Um, usually, the maximum width of, of leather that I put in there is usually about like that one and a half, maybe at max two inches. Past that, it gets really tough to pull all that leather through. But, anyways, um, so it works. You've got an adjustment knob down here. I usually keep this all the way up. If you turn it all the way up, that keeps uh, little hands from accidentally cutting themselves. That gets that little roller right up against the edge here, and there's there's no way to cut yourself on the on the blade. But what I'll typically do is I'll turn this down, and this adjusts your thickness. And I just got some scrap pieces here. I thought I would try on. Push that down, feed it through, and well, that's a little, that's not much of a demonstration, is it, huh? Like that. Yep. There you go. Um, this is really useful for making belt ends, for, uh, for thinning those down. Before, before I was using one of these, and while this kind of works, man, this is this is a bear to work on, on large surfaces. So this is really handy to, to thin down 10 ounce, down into four ounce cartridge loops. Or let's say you just have a piece of leather, uh, a strap that's got a really kind of gnarly back on it, kind of like this. This is kind of just some junky leather I have laying around, but you can put that in there. Can I take that off? It's a little much. Let's pull it down a little bit. There you go. And I'll take off that kind of nasty stuff off your straps. Um, yeah, let's see here. So, and this is pretty much infinitely adjustable. You can. Down. You might be wondering how how thin can it go? It can go. You can shave it off pretty thin. Let's see. Let's flip it around the other way. If you're only shaving off a, a little bit, sometimes I'll put it in and then kind of torque down the the adjuster. And do it like that. You can see that gets that gets a pretty paper thin piece of leather. Um, let me see what else. Yeah. It's pretty handy. Shave off that bad stuff there. And like I said, I use it a lot on my I use it a lot on my belts and my cartridge loops primarily. You have a couple of adjustment knobs here. Uh, those are for as the just to kind of change the angle, I guess, of the um, the blade towards the leather, or as perhaps as the 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 blade wears 
you can adjust where that roller is. I've never actually touched those. I've never messed with them since the entire time I've had them. Uh, I only basically use this. That's your adjustment for how thick and or how thin you want it. Okay, so sharpening it is actually fairly easy. I'm going to take a four millimeter hex wrench and bolt these one of them here on the side. Just pull out the blade like that. Just take a piece of sandpaper and put it against your your granite block or wherever you're using to do your stamp with. It doesn't really matter as long as it's perfectly flat. I'm going to take that edge there and put it flat against there. And with all my fingers, just to spread the pressure across, I'm just going to sharpen it. I think this is, what is that? It's 320. I like to use wet dry sand paper. Just works a lot better. And you're basically you just don't want to you just don't want it to rock. You want to keep it flat, which is actually fairly easy because you got a good good flat surface there. I like to do it at an angle. Let's go to 400. And progressively finer grit. Standard knife sharpening procedures here. All right, one thousand grit. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, I think for our purposes that's good enough. 